can tell from the title, it is Owl Crate Unboxing. They did a different color for this month. So, woohoo. I can't remember if it's this month, I believe, is their um, anniversary. Five-year anniversary, I believe. Something like that. And I think I said the title on there was Music of the Night for March. I believe that's what I said. So, I know what the book is. I don't know what it's going to look like. I know it's supposed to be, like, really pretty. Well, my thing ain't in here. I like a pair. Of, I don't know what happened to my razor or my thing. So, I'm going to have to do it the hard way. And I'm going to have to use my fingers and hope I can get it, get it, you guys. So, it's going to be a couple seconds. How are you guys doing in this trouble in time? If you're new to my channel, hi. I'm Lori. Welcome to Lori's Book Child. And as you know, or if you don't know, Owl Crate is a subscription box. It usually has a book and, like, four to five goodies. And it's, like, $29.99. Plus shipping and handling, which is in the U.S. is seven ninety nine, I believe. Comes up to like thirty six, not either thirty six ninety eight. I mean thirty seven ninety eight, I believe, or thirty nine or thirty eight. I mean thirty seven ninety six. I don't know. I forget. I think it's like thirty seven ninety eight. Um, I forget. But let's see what it looks like. That's what it looks like on the inside. And this time I didn't get spoiled at all. Last month I got spoiled for all my things. Oh, my spoiler card went flying. I'll be right back. I'm going to pause you guys for a second before I can go get the spoily card. I'll be back. Ah, sorry, everybody. I'm back. So that's what the spoiler card looks like. I love the spoiler card. I took some of the worms out already. There's like 50 million worms in this box. Like so many. <laughs> it's ridiculous. How many are in here? Like I'm still. I threw just a whole bunch onto the floor. And I got like all this still, you guys. Like literally. Oh. Okay, we'll go with what I see first. I mean what I want to what I like. Owl crate socks. Woohoo! Owl crate loves you. I like that. Owl crate loves you. And it's got the owls on it. How cute. Lay down, go to sleep. Sorry. After TT's done, lay there. Let's see. We got Bella's Lullaby Mint Chocolate Chip Lip Scrub. Hmm, sounds interesting. I don't want to open it right now, but that's what it is. If you can see it with this light. And then we got a candle. It says Goblin Grove. It says it's um by um, Flick the Wick. It says Winter Berry Peach Yuza. Whatever Yuza is, pear and fresh air. Oh, it smells really good. Like, really good. Oh my gosh, it's so sweet. If you like a sweet smelling candle, this is definitely you'll like. Oh my gosh. It smells so good. Oh my gosh. Like, I'm in love with the smell of that. That's probably one of my favorite smelling candles from just smelling it that they've had. Let's see, let's go with, hmm, we got something here, like a poster. Let's see. Yep, poster. It says, The Phantom of the Opera. I guess that says opera. It's so hard to read it. Um, that's what usually, that's what it is, though, so that's nice. Hmm, I like the picture. Let me see if I can get it back in here. So there's that. There's still some other stuff. Like, there's a lot of stuff in here. Hmm, let's see what this is. Something in here. That's interesting. Hmm. I don't know what it's supposed to be for. It says, Sing you a song and steal your soul by Victoria Swap. I'm not sure which one that one's for. I forgot what the fandoms were, but that's nice. I don't know what it's supposed to do, though. We'll look at the spoilers if I remember what I did with the card when we're done. And then we'll know what it is. But that's interesting. Still got a couple more things in here before the book. Let's go with this. Oh. That's neat. I don't know what it is, but I like the picture. I wonder if that's Harry Potter. I can't read what it says. 
X Lubius. Yep, that's definitely Harry Potter. I know I totally butchered the the saying. What is this? I can't I cannot get it open, you guys. I'm sorry the way I looked. I thought um their dad was gonna be here early to get them and he ain't gonna be here until like five o'clock. So I am exhausted. I don't know this is cute, but I don't know what you're supposed to do with them. Like a little card? I don't know what you're supposed to do with these. I don't know. I guess we'll have to find out. But it looks like they're stickers or something because there's like a um thing here, like where you what you call it. So I'm not sure. And it's not telling you what it is on here. So we're gonna have to figure all this out when we're done looking at the um when we look at the spoiler when I look at the spoiler card. I can get it back in there. There's still something in this box. And then we got the pen and then the book, I think. That will be it. So this says it's a ooh, cool, it's a wireless speaker. Cool, wireless speaker. There's the thing for it and the strap. Trying to get everything out here. Lay down, young lady. Sorry. She Talia is supposed to be laying down and she isn't listening. But what else is new? <laughs> Sorry, you guys. I'm just like really tired. Look at that. Oh, I like that. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, God, that's loud. Bluetooth mode. <laughs> I didn't know what was going to do that. Listen to that. Watch again. Bluetooth <laughs> mode. Oh, that is neat. Oh, no, you guys. That is so cool. It says working range up to 10M. Speaker something, loudspeaker output, charging voltage, and all that kind of stuff. Well, there's the volume. I don't know if that's making it go down or up. Let's try again. Nope, that's still Bluetooth too loud. mode. Trying to figure out how to make it lower. But I can't figure out the low part of it. Bluetooth <laughs> mode. Okay, you guys, I'm sorry, but that's cute. It'd probably be annoying after a while, so I better quit that. I'm not exactly sure. I know there's there's the um the instructions are right there, but that is cool. <laughs> that is really cool. I like that. That is awesome. They've been putting some interesting things in their boxes lately. <laughs> Sorry, you guys, that I did. I keep doing that, but I just thought it was interesting. I'm just enjoying myself. I need a little bit of what you call it in my life right now. Here's the pen for the book. That's really pretty. It says, um, Music of the Night, March 2020, box number 61. It's by the things in a way so I can't tell if it's Fable and Black maybe? It's hard to tell. Wait a minute. Yeah, Fable and Black dot com. It's from the U in the UK. So there's the pin for the month. Let me see if there's any what else is down there? I think just the stuff for next month in the book of course. Yep, here's the book. It's um Mar Marie Lou, The Kingdom of Back. Which I'm really excited about reading, you guys. I'm super excited for this. It would be like, I think, Mozart and his sister. If I can get it open. Because I tell you guys, I'm just, like, really not my normal self. So you guys know, everybody's going through your stuff. Oh my god, that's gorgeous! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that is so gorgeous. But here's the card. The, um the author's letter it says to be remembered in this world she created another cool this is really neat like oh my god you guys look at this like oh my gosh that is gorgeous looks like like a silver metallic i don't know oh my oh my gosh you guys you guys know my favorite thing that's in a book the map. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at the map. Oh my gosh, I'm in love. Uh, so it's like London, Key, Dover. Oh god, this is so neat. The Mozart family. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh my gosh, look at this. Like this has to be one of my favorite book designs that they did. 
Look at this. Like, gorgeous. Like, oh my gosh. <laughs> that has really blows, blown me away. Like these edges and the mats on the back as well. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. Like, wow. Like, oh, I just love the color that they chose. I'm just in love. <laughs> and here's where it's signed because they're all they've always been signed for a long time, not from the very beginning, but every I think almost every since I've got them. I don't know if it's been every single one that, that's been signed, but most of mine have been signed since I've been with them. All right, it says if I can read it. If not, then you guys probably most of you guys probably know what it's about. It says, "Born with a gift for music." Naria, something like that, Mozart, had just one wish, to be remembered forever. But as she delights audience with her master, masterful playing, she has little hope she'll ever become the acclaimed composer she longs to be. She's a young woman in 18th century Europe, and that means com com composing is forbidden to, forbidden to her. She will perform only until she reaches a marriageable age. But her tyrannical, how do you say that, father has made that much clear. As Nar Naria, or Naria, it's N-A-N-N-E-R-L-S, Nariels, Nariels maybe, I don't know. Hope grows dimmer with each passing year. The talent of her beloved younger brother Wolfgang only seems to shine brighter. His brilliance begins to eclipse her own until one day a mysterious stranger from a magical land appears with an irresistible offer. He has the power to make her wish come true, but his help may cost her everything. In her first work of historical fiction, New York Times bestselling author Mary Lou spins a lush lyrical tale, story of music, magic, and the unbreakable bond between a brother and sister. Sounds good. Says, I am the sister, the other Mozart, and her story is mine. Hold on, you guys. I'm sorry again. Hi, everybody. I'm sorry about that. Talia is just a little overtired. Um, oh, where was I? Okay, I was going to tell you what everything was from. Okay. This is, um, to celebrate Owl Crate's fifth anniversary, we're still... We sent along some comfy owl crate socks. It says, whether you've been with us since the beginning or you recently discovered us, thank you so much for subscribing and supporting us. It says, um, with a theme like Music of the Night, we just had to include an item for fans of the Phantom of the Opera. We hope you enjoy this poster print illustrated by Anna Lablet. Lablet? Something like that. Oh my, sorry you guys. What, Robin, what do you need? What are we doing for dinner time? I'm going to make mandwiches. Oh. Sorry, you guys. This is what happens when kids are home all the time. Okay. Okay. It says, um. It says, we've included an Owl Crate wireless speaker for all your listening needs from audio books to podcasts and music. Have you checked out the new bookish playlist we began including in each month's magazine? Owl Crate team member Tess at Paperback Books curated them. So that's what the speaker is. Okay, Amelia Rude, some of that, was inspired by the Monster of Verity duology and our favorite violin playing something when she created this wooden art print. Okay, that's what that one is, the wooden art print. That big one that I didn't know what it was in here. The wooden art print. Okay, let's see. It says, make your books books in pages a touch more magical with the set of ex libris book plate. Book plates. Designed by at Verix Nesta, Nestia, Nestia, something like that art. We couldn't resist including a goodie inspired by the ironic, iconic, I mean, Harry Potter soundtrack. Love to loan out your books. Write your name on the empty spine in Hedgewick's book stack to help your friends remember who to return them to. Okay. 
It says, inspired by Winter Song, flick the wick, that's the candle, sm smells divine, and leaves us dreaming of a music-filled goblin grove at twilight. Um, whether you prefer to snag sparkly piano playing vampires or your number team hunky werewolves, this Bella Lullaby Lip Scrub, created by Fairy Tale Bath Company, will leave your lips soft and totally kissable. Um, to, and then it talks about the book. It says, our exclusive edition is signed by the author and features a unique cover as well as a silver foil gilded edges. Mary Lou included an author letter for our readers. It says, for this month's enamel pin, we worked with Fable and Blatt to create a design inspired by the gorgeous artwork on the Kingdom of Bats cover, book cover, and the magical land within the story. And that was this again. That pin in the book. Of course, designed from the book. Okay. Oh, cool. I don't know what this says. Let me think. It says, um, oh, let me tell you. It says, um, for April, the box is called Full Moon Magic. And it says, um, every April box will include an exclusive jigsaw puzzle illustrated by Ellen Tartnert. I don't know how you say this word. It's, um, A-T-A-L-I-E-N-A-R-T. Hmm. Interesting. I knew we were getting a jigsaw puzzle because they they um did that in the newsletter. And let's see what else we got here. Okay, there's the thing again. And that's how it looks like on the back. We got the different covers, what they look like, and of course the author interview. I definitely like ours. This is the owl crate, and that one's the original. It says, we changed the background to a deep blue, and we feel that it made the cover even more magical. Our exclusive edition also has silver foil gilded edges. And it says, crossboard puzzle again. Um, a little interview with the vendor for Fairy Tale Bath Company. Um, March box photo challenge. When the owl, owl bobble is going to be. The playlist that they're talking about. And it says if you, I mean, some of the other items, I mean, books that they're excited about for this month. Um, Mary Rakuski, how do you say her name? The Midnight Lie. Um, Rin Chapello, Pessi, how do you say her last name? Wicked As You Wish, Thorn, I can't tell who that's by, um, The Vanishing Deep by Astrid Schultz, and Harley in the Sky by Akeem Don Bowman. Those are the ones they're talking about. And that is it. It says, full of, the playlist is full of in, instrumental, that's how you say it, Tracks curated to provide atmospheric background music for listening while reading, writing, and studying. Definitely a really good box. So, yeah, my favorite thing is definitely the speakers. Like, this is really neat. It says, um, it says all this, that information that I was trying to read right there. It says, I think I already read that to you. This is so neat. Like this was, oh, this was by Team Owl Crate. So yeah, that's how that's who it was from. Definitely like this item. This is really, really a solid box. That one, and of course the socks. Even though the socks are usually kind of thin and they're hard for me to use, I still like them. And the thing was very interesting. This poster, or whatever you want to say. Well, not poster, but I forgot what they said it was. 
But whatever they said it was, that one's really interesting. I don't know how excited I am about the Harry Potter item. I guess it's cute, like, if um, you lend out your books and stuff, but I don't lend out my books. So, yeah. I might use it for something else. Maybe I'll just, like, put it in my book. Or keep it as a something to put in, like, a journal or something. I don't know. I'll figure out something to do with it. Let me know what your guys' favorite thing was in the box. Definitely the blue, like I said, definitely the speaker. And I think the pen is beautiful. But yeah, I'm going to let you guys go. Yeah, on my hands, you guys, since I have, since we've had to wash our hands so much, like my skin is breaking out and my knuckles are so bad. Like this knuckle, but this one is ridiculous. And it, it's cracked and it itches. I mean, I'm just a mess. <laughs> so I'm sorry that this video was so messy, you guys. Oh, but hopefully the next video will be better. Because Monday or Tuesday, I will be getting um, my March box from... Um, oh, gosh. Bay Crate. We're getting our March box before our February box box because they got all their stuff for March in I mean yeah March in but they don't and, but they're just now getting the last thing they needed from for February's so they said this week we'll be getting the one from March and then the following week we should get the ones for February so we'll so get a couple more unboxings from me so yeah I hope you guys are doing as best as you can in this crazy time. And I love you guys. Thanks if you guys watch this messy, messy um video and stayed through it. Thank you so much. You can tell I'm in very like tired right now and lost. So I'm sorry that this is a mess. I love you guys so much. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you as part of my family. And if you guys do subscribe, remember to please hit that bell icon where you'll know whenever a video like this messy one is up for your viewing pleasure. Until next time, you guys. Lori out. Bye.